Gus Heiser, and welcome back to Bro Discs coverage of the Tupper Beach Rush 2022. It's been a tight battle so far, and there is plenty of discs left to throw. Our coverage begins at hole 8, with Jaden on 22 under, Levi on 21, Ryan on 19, and Ethan on 13 under par. This 91 meter hole has out of bounds over the boundary of the riverbank, so players are advised to stay right. We're facing downstream, next to the wild shot over river, here at Tucker Beach, watching Levi Stout tee off. And for another birdie chance with young Levi there. See what Jaden can do here. He's usually pretty accurate. Oops, commentator's curse there. He went over the bank. Bugger. Good to see there is plenty going on at Tucker Beach as Ethan waits for the jet boat to pass. Ethan's disc ends up overshooting the basket. He may have overcooked that one. Ryan's disc ends up halfway between the basket and the river's edge, out of bounds area. So now Jada needs to make this putt to get par. That's a solid putt under pressure. Right there, having no problem getting another birdie. Right there with the bird. And he ends up with a three. Hole 9 is a 150 meter par 4, which has the usual wind blown trees along one side and a sharp bend to the left about the 100 meter mark. Jaden Watkinson tees off. Still with a parker on. I don't know how he gets the distance to me, to be honest. But he's put it way out there. A very handy spot. Levi warms up for a big throw. He loves the extra length on the mat. Right at the apex of the curve of the fairway. Oh, turn the cameraman. Yeah. 
or Ethan might have gone a little bit deep there just a little bit past the apex to the curve of the fairway Ryan there just tearing off from about the right position and it looks good I got lost in the woods here Young Levi lines up his second throw from about 60 meters out. Was that what I thought it was, Gus? It actually hit the base of the basket. So just a bit higher up, it and it would have been an eagle. Levi is definitely in good form, but so is Jaden. Oh, no. A little bit wayward there, but I'm sure he can putt that one out. What did I tell you? Great part there from Jaden. This is still turning out to be quite a tussle here in Tucker's. The pressure is on. Hole number 10 is only 77 meters in length, but as marked mandatory tree, you must be on the left hand side of about 45 meters out. The basket is to the right surrounded by trees. Levi warming up his sidearm. Obviously, he wants to do Look it around the corner. And he does that. Jaden lining up a sidearm as well. See if you can get a nice flick. Oh no, he's gone. No. He, I don't think he made the, he didn't make the man though. Ethan hitting some trees and falling a bit short. Held on to that. Ryan getting his disc a bit low and hoping for a skip. Either way I'm in. Ethan, second throw there. And now throwing from the drop zone, Jaden has a good stab. Not too bad. Ryan from when he slid into the undergrowth to slide along past the basket. Levi going for the birdie. Ah, oh, slipped out. That's a rarey. Ryan putts, nails it. Could be happy with that.
Hull 11 at 66 meters long, it's a likely an ace run. There are the usual tuckers drift with trees and a well worn path. Ethan's left handed throw catches out the T cam guy, which is me. What? <laughs> but it's great for the catch cam. Ryan parks it not too far from a basket. Nice little shot there. Jaden with a smooth style just makes it look effortless and you know, it's right under the basket right under it Ryan yeah. starts off with a birdie and I suspect everybody else will too. Hole 12 is par 3, the 115 meter hole has a few branchy trees about 20 meters from the tee. The basket is on a raised mound. And there we have a 115 meter drive as Levi's disc touches the base of the basket. Hey, what happened to the catch cam on this hole, Daz? We ran out of card on this hole. A few technical difficulties. We sorted it out though. Jaden Watkinson, 25 under par. We're going to look at his driving action here. Jaden's second throw. Ethan having a run at the basket. Ryan with a classic jump putt. Finishes it off for a three. You can see where Levi's disc is when he picks it up. That's how close he was. So now Levi draws equal with Jaden in this tussle for the lead. There is still a lot of golf to play, it's anybody's game. Hole 13 is a possible ace run for those with distance throws with a wide open 90 meter fairway.
Levi using a speed 13, over stable driver, throws a side arm that looks on target, but runs into the tree bunker, before arcing out at the end of its flight towards the basket. That's a very accurate description, Gus. As you would expect, from such a professional disc golf commentator, like me. Ethan's disc lands just in front of a tangled driftwood bunker. Ryan Cambridge on the tee box. Ryan's throw looks on target. It lands just by the basket. That should be an easy booty for there for Ryan. No trouble. Jaden's disc lands amongst the driftwood tangle. Luckily on the basket side of the pile. Unfortunately Jaden's disc flies straight over the top of the basket. Levi nails another birdie, another great putt, that takes him into the lead, with 26 under par. All 14 is a 175 meter blast. Alongside a row of trees on the left and an out of bound line on the right, marking the fairway for hole 6. The basket is in a hollow depression, left at the end of the row of trees. Levi with a nice powerful throw, gets his just to turn over nicely and he's got some good distance there. Yes. The catch cam guy likes it. Brother Ethan there with a nice left hand drive which seems to be straying a little bit right. In fact I think it's gone out of bounds. Unfortunately you can see Ethan's disc rolling past the OB line at the edge of the fairway. A nice safe drive there, from Ryan. Now we see Jaden's drive, right up there with Levi's. Ryan's second shot, hooking it round to the left. Might have been a little bit too left. So instead of throwing from here for a two, Ethan cops a one-stroke penalty for straying onto the fairway for six. Looks like he'd still left himself with some work to do there, Gus. Levi's disc lands just inside the hollow. And J 
Jaden's desk. Just let's just lean a bit further on the other side. Jaden hits the chains, but no basket. If you know what I mean. Ethan takes a stab, just ends up hitting the hill the other side of the basket. Oh. Looks like Ryan just missed his chance for a birdie there. Now Levi. Oh. Looks like nobody's getting a birdie here today. Did you notice Levi slapping himself there for missing that putt? That's because he has high expectations of himself and he's disappointed. Like all the players here, there's a high standard. Well, this is certainly turning out to be a great tournament, Gus. What do you think? You're absolutely right there, Vaz. Everyone is giving it their best shot. The standard of play is high, that's for sure. It's time to remind all you viewers that you need to subscribe. Vaz just can't afford me, and in getting worried he may fire me. So please subscribe and save my job. I'm Gus Heiser and you have been watching Bro Disc's coverage of the Tucker Beach Rush 2022. As the players walk on to tee off on hole 15, we can see Levi sneaking into the lead with 26 under, Jaden in hot pursuit with 25 under, Ryan on 22 under, and Ethan on 15 under par.